Next in the den, an entrepreneur from St. Albert, Alberta, who needs a dragon investment to give her Latin-inspired clothing line a big boost. Hola, dragons. Hola. My name is Nora Ferber. I'm from St. Albert, Alberta. I've been living there for about 30 years. But originally, I'm from Colombia, South America. My company name is Monge Loco Jeans. I'm here to offer you 40% of my business for $300,000. 40% for 300. Dave, what's the valuation on that? 750. Thank you. We have a national crisis, and I'm here to put a stop to it. Flat bumps. Who? Flat bumps. Flat, Flat bumps. bumps is the national <laughs> crisis. Stop the madness. Horrible. Here we have Bianca and Megan wearing a normal North American jean. It's that kind of one fits all boxy kind of look. Right. And now the girls are going to change. Okay. Now every lady out there can have a perfect round bum. Let's see, turn around. Yes, yeah. fantastic. Hey. All right. Hola. Me gusta mucho. <laughs> fantastic. So I bring to you the <laughs> sexy, fun, colorful flavor of the Latin fashion in a jean. Girls, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's see. Let's see these bums. Oh, my, oh my goodness God. gracious. Ichihuahua, caramba. Different. So, wow, they look absolutely That's amazing. That's unbelievable, actually. The technology of the gene has tucked in. Can I touch one? I want to touch one nice for sure. Can you please bring the technology no, over you here? you can't touch one. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Come on. Well, it's due diligence. Some people say copy to feel. Other people say due diligence. So I bring to you the famous Levanta Cola, the lift the bum gene in wow. my design. Nora's specialty support jeans retail in Alberta for up to $150. So it's almost a brassiere for bums. Exactly, it's the brassiere for bums. She designs the jeans herself and has them manufactured in Colombia. The jean tucks in and lift, giving the girls a perfect round bum. There are other jeans out there that do this. What's different about your jean from the ones that are out there? So I designed this jean with the technology, the Levanta Cola but customized for the Canadian woman. Is there a difference between the Colombian bum and the Canadian bum? What it is, is the way we wear the jean. In the Latin culture, we are proud of our curves. We want to show our curves. And we so have the am bum. I. I like them too. Yeah. In Canada, it's a little more conservative. So, Nora, have you got any sales in these now? I do. I have my own store. You have your own store? I do. I have a little store in St. Albert, Alberta. And from May 26th to December 31st, we have sold $135,000. Wow. Good for you. Very impressive. But thank you. So what's the $300,000 that you need from any one of us? So, Jim, my plan is to open a couple of new stores in Western Canada. Why not just sell your jeans to other retailers and let them sell them? Why do you want to open a retail location? I like the idea of the store, the Monge Loco jean, the whole idea, the whole Latin look. But it's very expensive but it's for retail. It's so expensive. It's going to cost you a fortune to open a retail store. to roll store. out stores, fortune. for sure. Everybody's got the same concern. You're asking for a lot of money for something that doesn't have the value yet to support it. $300,000. Um, 750000 valuation. Yeah, that's, yeah. Cra that's crazy. Um, Kevin. You know, you know that is crazy, no, right? No, Kevin, we... Local. Like, no, our projection sales for 2013 is about $354,000. It might get there. I believe in the product. I mean, I'm looking at it. I've touched the technology. It's fantastic. <laughs> I really, there's no question about it. Think about it. We had the factory that makes it for us. We use the highest cotton in Latin America. Our material is compared to the big brands out there. So yes. do you go down to Colombia and visit the factory and do all the detail work yourself? Yeah, absolutely. What happened is that these factories, they are run by a social program and they give jobs to single moms. It's called Head of a Home. That's of course, a great lots idea. Of children. So I, me, I, I like came in, in there and I saw this and I thought I like the social program yeah. and people are hardworking and ready to work and ready to go and will do anything for that. You know what, and you're a great example yeah. of that. Yeah. I can I can see it. You've yeah. worked hard so Bruce, and you're built, building here. a business. Step up here. Thinking about it. But how do you do it? 
Who is ready to leave some bump with us, Arlene? She's Look at the it. big potential right. here. I Off know what Canadian girls need. Everywhere we go, it's a sensation. Turn around, girls. She's not enough. So listen, Nora, there's discussion up here about maybe doing something with you. We'd like you to go back into the rat pit, we call it that room, so we can talk amongst ourselves. Okay. You've said enough, you've sold enough. Bring it in. Come Kevin. over here. Hey, Jimmy, hey, bring it in. Royalty. Bring it in. In that kind of business. So you, you put the, three, what is it, 300, yeah, 300. For, for 50%. No no retail outlets. But then we take a, a royalty. And Back I always like the 7%. This is where we need Spanish music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think the math works. Well. Tough to make more than 10 or 15% of the bottom line in, in anything that's sold through a conventional retail environment. It is. I think we can create the demand on this just through the right market. So well, I love for Arlene to try the jeans. Mm -hmm. She will see the difference. Yeah. Why don't we do a 20% warrant on it? Yeah. 300K and a 5% royalty then. Okay, but just just oh my god. God. Señor, lo que has hecho para otro. Just to remind you, a 5% royalty for us to get our money back, she has to do 6 million in sales. Yeah, true. Yeah. 6 million in sales. Isn't it? Oh, they look cute. I like her enthusiasm. Okay, Nora. So, Nora, we have spent a bunch of time talking about how we might be able to structure a deal from royalties through loans through trying to convert into equity later, everything we could think of. And we couldn't get a way to make it work for us that we would get our money back within a reasonable period of time. It's going to take so long to build your sales that we don't see a way out. So, unfortunately, we've all made a decision to not go in. If uh... Arlene, if you invest in, in this business, I invested 120000 No, there's nothing else you can year, say. My... You've heard your sales numbers. The problem with your deal is not you or no. the product. Yeah. It's the value. It's the value. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Ryan. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Good Thank luck. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Lo siento. Fun watching the deal walk out. I think Arlene nailed it. If she asked for a lesser amount there, we would have figured out a way to make it work. Next up, a university student from Ottawa who says when it comes to running a socially responsible business, he's got the right vision. Hello, Dragons. My name is Nano Ose. I'm an environmental science major from Carleton University, and today I'm asking for 75000 for 20% of my company to build my brand and realize my vision. The name of my business is Bowton Eyeglasses. Canadian-based, African-inspired, Bowton is producing designer quality eyeglasses made from upcycled material. Each fashionable piece is uniquely designed and handcrafted from the finest reclaimed wood bamboo and acetate sourced from West Africa. So dragons, you want to try some glasses on and make a change? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. So it's sustainable African wood? Uh, like we use cabinets, doors. Oh, reclaimed. Reclaimed materials. Thank you. Thank you. Are we going to look Thanks as hip much. as them when we put this on? You bet you are. Really? Let's give it a try. Nana makes sunglasses and frames for prescription glasses. He calls the line Bowton. What do you think? Beautiful. Yeah, good? Beautiful. Do I look like a mild-mannered librarian? <laughs> no. Hey, pretty hey. cool. These are all right. Pretty cool. These are all right. Each pair sells for between $180 and $240. I'm feeling pretty groovy. Oh, I like those Jim, on Jim's you. look, those look good on you, Jim. Wow. Where did the name come from? Bolton comes to my middle name, Boatin, and it symbolizes prosperity. Prosperity. So it symbolizes what I'm about, which is sustainability and design. And I want to really make a difference but in a stylish and fashionable way. Where are you from originally? Ghana. And when did you come to Canada? Uh, oh, seven. And so how many have you sold of these? To date, 12,000 themselves in four months. Wow. Wow. Four months. OK, hold on. Have you sold 12,000 units or $12,000? Yeah. $12,000? $12,000. That's not good. Yeah, big difference. Big difference. It's a very competitive space. 
Now, you have competition, right? Because I've seen yeah. glasses that are very similar to yeah. this. What's going to make you different than the competitors that are out now, there? Now, we want to build a business that gives back to my country, Ghana, by setting up manufacturing in Ghana. This will create fair paying jobs locally and will increase prosperity in Africa. So it's the glasses are a means to an end. Let's leave the social that? issue out of it for a second. Let's talk okay. about the business, how we make money as well, it's investors. It's actually part of the okay. business. The social How is do part you of get distribution? I'm, I'm a kumbaya guy. I want to save the world too. But where's the retail distribution in this? Uh, in Toronto. We have one in Toronto. One store? One store in Toronto. You got a long way to go, my friend. And also two in Montreal, five in Ottawa, one in Vancouver. I mean, in four months, we've, we've covered as much ground as we can, but that's why we need you to take it to the next level. If I give you the 75 today, how long does it take you to get these classes? Uh, we can order 10,000 in less than a month. And if you had 10,000 units, could you sell them all tomorrow? Or we the can next sell at least weeks? half tomorrow. Whoa. But let's make sure that we're getting the facts here. When you say you can sell 5,000 tomorrow, are you just kind of saying that, or are you literally are sure you can sell 5,000 units tomorrow? I don't have a purchase order for 5,000 units, but I have, this week we already got into four stores, and within the next month, we're going to get into so four far in four months, you sold a few hundred units. Yeah. Right, and now you're telling us tomorrow you can sell 5,000. Most of the stores that we, we got into, we just got into them uh, last month. Right. You know, you've got an interesting idea that's founded in a desire to make a difference, but I'm not sure that you've got a product that's going to be able to break through without a ton of effort and marketing commitment behind it. It's a highly competitive space. But, I mean... Let me translate, Arlene. You're going to zero. No, he's not. Look, this isn't going to work. This market's so competitive, and even the segment you're going after is tiny. Well, I think I it mean, be we could brutal. Say if, what if we could take 10 to 15% of Ray-Ban's share? A lot of people... Never going to happen. Go at it hard for a year, my friend. Come back. Tell us that uh, you've got some real sales, and I think you might have a chance at getting an investment. But it's really early right now, so I'm out. I admire everything that you're doing. I think there's a massive trend towards people influencing their buying decisions by the social cause attached to it, so bang on there. You're just too early for a $375,000 valuation. I'm out. I actually like the glasses, but you're 12,000 in sales. I just can't get there. I'm out, but I hope I do see you again next year. We can work on that. I think these dragons are doing a huge disservice to you. If you come back in here with this business, you're out of your mind to you waste 12 months of this. You are going to zero with this, all right? You should be thanking me for telling you the truth right now while these guys are encouraging you to waste your time. It's an outrage. I apologize for them. I'm out. Jim, where are you at? I think you got something here. I look at it and say, you know, you've worked your butt off to get to this stage, and all you need is another anchor thrown at you. Exactly. Yeah. Today, my friend told me that uh, he, he's going to get us into three stores in New York. And also, I forgot to mention that we have another retail partnership with an online store called Lux and Eco in New York. So. Well, I know who that is. Now, why wouldn't you have told us all that when you were pitching? <laughs> well, I mean, you guys kind of jumped all over me. I, I, I would have told you. Jim, I don't know. Maybe there's something here. Are you a sole partner of the company? I, I'm majority shareholder. I have uh, sh uh, sh people who have shares. How like, many shares have you given out already? Uh, 14. 14%? Yeah. You know, I like, I, I like you're very aggressive in what you've done, and, and uh, do I take a chance? I, I take chances on people I like. The problem is that you got 14% gone, I got 20, that's 34%. That doesn't give me a whole lot. I'm gonna pass. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, I think that you, I just can't get enough for you. If you hadn't given up the other percentage, because I'd have to have 50% of your company. Jimmy. And uh, so I'm out. 
You just said I'd take a chance on people you like, and then I you do. said I know. I like him, but I'd have more control than, than he would have, so. That was a close one. All right, good oh, luck. Come back in a year. Come back in yeah, a year. Yeah, for sure. Keep With it going. With something else. No. No. Come Stick back in it. the year and show us what you can do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I like that. It's a fad. It's going to zero. It's not a fad. Look like an egg with a pair of glasses on it. <laughs> <laughs> Next in the den, a retired truck driver from St. Catharines, Ontario, who hopes the dragons will see the value in his uplifting invention. Hi, dragons. My name is Terrence Burke. I'm from St. Catharines, Ontario, and I'm looking for $100,000 for 100% of my product. So you're selling your business. I beg your pardon? You're selling your business. Yes. Okay. One third of the people in North America are considered to be overweight. This overweightness causes a problem where your waist is actually bigger than your hips. So you have trouble keeping your pants up. I play pool every Saturday night. <laughs> and every time us old boys that are overweight would bend over, I'd say to the guy, you know what, I gotta say no to crack. <laughs> I gotta find a solution to this. Our pants are all falling down. <laughs> so I thought, listen, I gotta design something to keep the pants up. So what I have is the invisible belt for overweight people. Are you wearing it right now? We can't see it? That's right. Okay. So if Arlene doesn't mind, I'd have to drop my pants here to show you the belt. She's okay with that. Is she okay with that? I'm not thrilled with it myself, actually. Well, it's the only way that I can go. <laughs> go for it. Okay, so this is the invisible belt. Right. Now, this is an elastic belt. It doesn't go around your waist. It goes around your hips. <clears throat> now, it has foam-filled, I call them bullets. And what these bullets are designed for is actually to act as an artificial hip. This is the belt. <clears throat> It's got a tight, quick, quick release. I just want you to know that yeah. Arlene is single, okay? Okay. So there's okay. an opportunity for both of you here. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> I see that. But listen. I see that. <laughs> here's, here's the emphasis I want to put on it. The emphasis is this. When you put the belt on, all right, you can use this belt standing up or sitting down because I put, the buckle goes to the side. Yeah. All right? There's no notches directly in the front, so it doesn't bother you. It looks so, good, too. Yeah. So, Kevin, Kevin, maybe you should try it. I think it would actually work on your... Please don't yeah, drop your pants, here. Kev. I have, two, I have two in the bag here. I have a female and a male belt. The female would probably fit I'm you, I'm not Arlene. taking my pants off on national television. <laughs> not going to happen. Okay, I do up the belt. And, and, and look, I'm bending over. No problem. You're moving. You're grooving. You know what I mean? And, and you know what? I'll tell you something. I'm not going to the grocery store with my wife anymore, pulling my darn pants up, pulling my your pants up. Your wife was up. pulling your pants up in the grocery store? So I take it you're not single. The Arlene option's off the table then. I've been married for 42 years. Yeah. It's not that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. It's that men need adventure and women need security. What? That's Good true. Point. Interesting Good theory. Point. Yeah. Right? Very true. Oh, Terry. <laughs> oh, I gotta try one of these. I got a bad back, so I'm gonna, I'm hoping this, because I've worn these for my back before. It doesn't work unless you take your pants off. I'm still traumatized with the fact that men want adventure and escape, and women want security. Every woman wants security. I didn't know that. Bruce, you gotta take your pants off. It doesn't work unless you have your pants off. Kevin, you're gonna take your pants off? It oh my might God, be no. Tight. No, no, no. Oh, I don't wanna no, see no, this. No, I don't wanna <laughs> see this. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. All right, strap it on, no. don't right? Oh, my God! Oh, oh I'm okay, traumatized! Go. Oh, Kevin, are you oh, kidding Kevin. me? He's got the vacuum joke. Look at that. Now, here, here's how you put it on. All right, strap it on, no. big guy. No, no, you gotta go this way. Put it on, no, hey, Kevin, put the pants on. All right, here we go. Oh, Kevin! It oh, works. come on! Oh! You gotta drop your pants and take a chance. Drop your pants and take a chance? <laughs> so your thing should be lower. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, I need help now. I need therapy now. Drop your pants and take a chance. I, I didn't want to see that. <laughs> okay, now. It kind of, it lifts and separates.
Let me try it out. Look at where his pants are now. <laughs> I know, they're way up. That's fantastic. Nice. You know, it actually feels pretty good. I feel something. He feels something, see? He feels something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you feel more secure, don't you? Oh, beautiful. Working so far. Oh, yes. And getting better. It's a steal of a deal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I've learned today, Terry. Okay? Yeah. I've learned that... Kevin O'Leary wears tidy whities <laughs> right. I did not need to know that. Right. I've learned that women like security, that men like adventure and excitement and escape. Right. And I'm traumatized from the first thing I learned. <laughs> right. The other things I don't agree with, so I'm out. Oh, that's, all, that's fine. And she doesn't <laughs> want adventure. I don't want she adventure, wants security. I want security. If you're married with children, you need security. Did your wife work at all? A school guard crosser for uh, 30 years. How's the relationship going? You guys good? You know what? <laughs> 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 uh, listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how you get along with women. Did okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let him go. Shh. Is Quiet. this about a belt, or are we doing some a no, little bit no, of fun? No, we're learning. We're, we're on learning. To something yeah. now. Yep. Yeah. You get along with women. All you say is, "Yes, dear. You're absolutely right, dear. Whatever you say, dear. I'll do it, dear." And that's how, that's how you get along with them. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something else. Women are like a dozen raw eggs. They crack easily, so you got to handle them with care. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, Terry. Oh, it's man. over. It's over. As soon as you started saying that stuff about women, you had to leave the den. Arlene, we didn't get a chance to cut a deal.